Hi everyone, Richard Robbins here, and the numbers are in for the Edmonton Real Estate Board, so let me give you a little bit of an update. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about what did your numbers look like in January of 17 opposed to January of 18. I'm also going to talk about what did your numbers look like December of 17 to December of 18, okay? And then I'll give you a little bit of a, a forecast as to what I see is going to happen in the marketplace. So let's get started. Here are your numbers. This is January of 18 to January of 17. You can see that your sales were up substantially. They were up by 20%. You did 673 sales, 17, you only did 566. What happened with inventory? The active listings at the end of the month, you had 4,563 listings where you had 4,159, so your listing inventory was up by 9.7%. So yes, your listing inventory was up a little bit, but your sales were up by more, so what does that mean? Your months of inventory. You take this number, divide this number in, and that tells you how many months of inventory you have. So you're 6.8 in January of 18, opposed to 7.3 in January of 17, which would indicate your market is a little stronger. Now saying that, what happened with prices? Because if you look at it here, when you have about 6.8 months of inventory, you really have, you're on the verge of a buyer's market. So chances are your prices will probably weaken a little bit year over year. So let's look at what happened. So if we've got 360,000 as the average sale price, we had 364 last year, which means our prices were off by 1%. So if you look at this number right here, between five and six months of inventory is balanced. That's where prices are not going up, they're not going down. Once you go above six, you're gonna see prices start to weaken marginally. The higher you go, the quicker they're gonna drop. And of course, the lower this number is, if it was one, two, three, or four, you're gonna see prices go up. But let's look at January to December. So you can see again, 673 sales, you had 701 in December of 17. Inventory, the same sort of thing. Your inventory is up a little bit. You had 4,563 opposed to 42, okay, which makes us up by 6.5%. And you can see your month of, months of inventory is 6.8 opposed to 6.1, which means you're up by about 11%. What does this all mean? First of all, keep in mind, generally speaking, January sales are going to be a little bit less than December sales, because December generally is a little bit of a better month than January is. That's just normal in most marketplaces. Now, also January, let's face it, we've having a, we're having what we call a great Canadian winter. It has been cold, it has been snowy. So I would suspect that'll cause your market to be off a little bit as well. Plus, if you think about it, we've had some rate increases, right? There's been some changes in term, terms of mortgage financing with stress testing. There's just been a lot going on. So what's my prediction? Well, my prediction is you will see more of the same of what you've seen last year. I think February, March are going to start to get a little bit stronger. They're going to be better than, say, what January was. But I think you're going to have more of the same. I don't think we're going to see a dramatic change in your market. I think you're going to have a relatively well-balanced market where buyers don't have to rush to buy, sellers don't have to rush to sell. I think your condo market is going to have a much higher months of inventory than detached. So I think your condo market is going to be probably a little weak this year. But I think your detached market will remain balanced to slightly, okay, a seller's market, but just slightly. It's not going to be off that much. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you, and I will report to you these numbers every single month. And remember, it's a beautiful life, everybody. Make it count.